This is Sheila Allaire with Exit King Realty. I'm previewing a property. It's a bank owned property on over an acre and a half of land. It's listed for $199.9. It's a bank owned property and is in need of repair. This is the house. Three bedrooms, three bathrooms. It does have a roof leak. Again, it's going to need a lot of work. Um, but I think this property has definitely a good investment. Like I said, it's on over an acre and a half of land. There is an upstairs above the garage. And the garage is on the side of the house. And this is the backyard. Beautiful landscaping, tropical, huge trees. Again, so, you know, the gutters need to be cleaned. Roof needs to be blown off. You get a look at this air conditioner. It's the air conditioning unit. So a monster. It's over 3,000 square feet, this house. Three bedroom, three bath. There's a door here. Needs a good pressure cleaning. Gutters clean. It is a wood frame house. The windows don't look bad. Siding is need some cleaning. It's a nice back porch. French doors. We got gutters, that's good. Really protects the house when we get these heavy rains here in Florida. And the siding looks good. Just everything needs good cleaning. If you're not good big into renovating homes. I think this one could be flipped. Just doing some minor work to it and leaving the rest to somebody else. Or if it's something that you're looking forward to live in, uh, it needs some repair. Beginning with the roof leak. It's listed for 199 over an acre and a half of land. Over 3,000 square feet of living space, three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and upstairs over the garage. Like a water softening system. Here looks like a possible cover for the. I don't know if it would be the septic so close to this. You see this little cement cover here. A couple of them. Find out where the septic system is. I guess it's could be right there. Okay, we're gonna venture off into the inside of the house. They come back around. I didn't see any bugs in there. You get some, uh, just some wood rot here, it looks. Water damage on this side. Should be checked out. Otherwise, you know, this side of the garage looks pretty good. See that top rail there. I don't know what they had hooked to there. They had something screwed in and hooked. Maybe some hurricane shutters or something. <laughs> Try 
kind of get you a good viewing of what kind of work this house needs. I like that these, um, I guess soffits look all pretty solid. All the way up and around the whole roof. I haven't seen any, like, major work. Just cleaning. Here's a nice front porch. No tile. French doors going into the front of the home. Into the front door. You have two doors to the right. One is a coat closet. They've removed the carpet from the bedroom here. Or maybe an electric panel. Looks updated and good. Uh, so I guess no closet in that room. So it could be an office or a den. Then there's another bedroom here. Again, no closet. I don't see any signs of any bugs in this house anywhere. For a vacant home, in pretty good shape, except for the um, visible stains. Um, Beautiful fireplace. I'm gonna go back to where we came in the front door so you can see. I kind of skipped through the room on on the right of the front door. And when you come in, there's a hallway that way. And then there's a big room that way down this hallway. Straight ahead is a large sitting room. Again, uh, some stains on the ceiling here. It's, like, um, it's a bank owned, so they took care of a few of these spots where the roof was leaking. They um, have some tarps on the roof. Looks like some mold right there. I have to uh, put something over the roof there. So there's some carpet left in this room. Again, huge room just off the front entry hallway. Closet. This ceiling is textured. Don't see any watermarks on this ceiling. Oh, there's one right here, maybe. Beautiful fieldstone fireplace. We've got laminate flooring. Like I said, I don't see any dead bugs anywhere. No signs of termites or Doesn't mean it could have them, I'm just saying I don't see any visible signs of any of that activity. Um, off of the living room here with the fireplace is that back porch I showed you. And the ceiling all looks good. Screening all looks good. Just really needs a good cleaning. Uh, this, not sure, just a lot of dirt. To clean this place up would really be, um, help to 
see its full potential. When I list homes, I tend to go through with my pressure washer and clean them up. Uh, we want to be able to sell them. Uh, this was the room we already came in. The second room was into a kitchen. Lots of cabinets. Bay style window, breakfast nook area here. Little bump out. It is off of the living room with the fireplace. Again, the kitchen. The sink, no disposal. Underneath, all solid. Up out windows, I was telling you the eat in area in the kitchen. Nice pantry. These uh, lighting needs to be all replaced here. It's the pantry. Lots of space for storing all your food, and box goods, canned goods. Your cabinets for your dishes. They look newer. Somebody recently replaced these cabinets. But no hardware on them. Good cleaning, some hardware. Off the kitchen is a laundry room. Looks recently painted. Uh, needs to be redone. The so washer dryer hookup. Looks like these valves need replacing. If we could try to hook anything up and have a water leak, huge uh, closet pole over here. And this is the laundry room. Exit to the backyard. There's a bathroom here off of the laundry room. Tile floor. Ceiling's in good shape. You see it walk in shower. And off of the laundry room is the two car garage. Got the air handler. Here's the tag. A water tank. Some shelves. Electrical. Garage door opener. Storage under the stairway. Updated windows. Spring looks good. Looks like a newer door. Hurricane rated garage door. Uh, looks like it's installed in 2016. Good. 220L right here, possibly for a generator. Several outlets in this garage. While I'm here, I'll take you upstairs to the extra workshop area. And an inspection here. A termite inspection tag. So here's the stairs over the garage. Now the rest of the house is one story, just the garage is two story. Like I said, 
I am amazed. I don't see any dead bugs or too many critters. I just started to get that lizard right there, but that's it. Everything looks good. Here's the top of the roof. See the tarp over there is falling off. Chimney cap. Trees are high above. None of them. Here's the room. That's up over the garage. There's no sink up here, but there's plenty of cabinets and countertop storage. There's a refrigerator. There is that bathroom down off of the laundry room downstairs off of the garage. Everything feels solid. Cleaning and painting. Lots of updating. It's a lot of space. To a small section of the home at a time if you plan on living here. Go back downstairs to the garage. So I'm just previewing this hall in case anybody's interested in a hole. Here's the bathroom off of the garage. So if anybody was using that upstairs space for a rental, there's an access door here to go in and out. It's blocked off from the main home with this door. Could share the laundry room between the two units. If you wanted a uh, office up there or a efficiency apartment, that could be done. So, go back here through the living room. Take you down the hallway where we entered in. Entry there to the left where the tile changes. We had the two rooms here. Another room here. It's the living room and kitchen down there. And we haven't come down to this end of the hallway. We do have some uh, watermarks on the ceiling here. Um, nothing really too drastic. Some chair rail in this hallway. Get some standing here. Get the purple and green room here. This is the bedroom. Oh, electrical and closet. It's the front porch. I don't know if the edges of the wall. I don't see any water, any bugs, any wood rot, any signs of any termites or bugs. Nothing in the windowsills, no water damage. Uh, see a hole right here with this hole. Seems solid. Clean though, yeah, I don't know what it's all about. Big closet, it's dry in there. The room off to the right is a giant room, a couple of stains on the ceiling here. Cut out 
spot here. Take up. Spot over there. It must be the his and her closets down this hallway. Still carpet in the hallway. Here's a tub shower unit. Commode. Well, I, I am wearing a mask. I didn't know uh, what kind of condition I would be walking into here. So. Sometimes the uh, mold can be bothersome. So there's another bathroom at the end of the hallway here. So this is the hallway we came down. The purple room there. The entry door there. Another bedroom. Across the hall, it's the living room. Uh -huh. There's all kinds of room in this house. It's huge. This closet is uh, this bathroom has no lights in it. So here's the sink, here's the toilet, we have a tub. I try to. Ceilings look good. There's a ceiling fan in here. And in the bedroom off to the left of the hallway. So the sheetrock tape came down here. And there's a roof leak in this corner. Yeah, right there, you see the tarp. Oh, this would need to be replaced. Uh, some ants or something in this corner. Well, the first bugs I see in this window sill, it might just be ants. I don't know. Not sure. This is the wall underneath that window, so just uh, be solid. No water stains. Not sure why it says wood frame. This looks like block to me with this size depth around the windows. I know the second story over the garage I am sure is wood frame, but this feels pretty solid. I don't know that feels hollow. Big closet, walk-in closet in this bedroom. So again, I'll show you where we came from. This is the front of the house. Came at the front door. So this is to the left of the front door. There's a bathroom at the end of the hall. Bedroom to the left, bedroom to the right, and another bedroom here. So there's three bedrooms down here. You went down the hall, that was the door we came in. There was a room, or there's a den, bonus room, whatever. Then there's another bonus room here. 
it's huge so it could be a another living room um, it was second access to that bonus, first bonus room off of the hall coming in the entryway. Then there was another room here. So there's uh, three bedrooms there and then three more huge rooms here. Then this big living room. The kitchen, laundry room, garage, plus the upstairs workshop. Beautiful backyard, over one and a half acres of land, over 3,000 square foot home. It's a bank owned property, listed for $199.9. Give me a call. This is Sheila Allaire, Exit King Realty. 941-928-5094. Let me know what type of home you're looking for. And I will help you find it. This is beautiful. Feel a nice breeze coming in this porch. Uh, gorgeous fireplace. If you have any more questions, would like to schedule viewing of this home in person. Feel free to give me a call, 941-928-5094. Uh, let me know uh, how I can help you, and I'm there for uh, whatever you need. 941-928-5094, Sheila Allaire, Exit King Realty, Venice, Florida. And his home is located in Venice, Florida, near Minnesota Beach. Um, one and a half acres. Bank owned house. Two car garage. With two stories. House is listed for $199.9. Uh, if you want me to send you the MLS listing, I can do that. Get more details, photos. Look forward to hearing from you again soon. Have a wonderful day.